What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? It is Jason Jenai. Welcome back to my channel. I am grateful that you are here and in this video, I wanna share with you some secret sauce. My process on how I set up the ultimate backup folder of music on my computer and in my world. Now this right here is like the ultimate music management backup hack and I found that this hack is incredibly valuable. It saved the day for me and for a number of people that I've known over the course of my time doing this and this is a practice that I've kind of put into play now for a number of years and it's been golden. And if you're a DJ watching this, whether you do weddings, private events, social events, nightlife events, this is a backup emergency folder hack that has a ton of value and it's something that you need to put in place so that you are covered in the event that something ever unforeseen happens in the future, maybe equipment goes down, laptop crashes, or whatever. This is a music management backup hack that I just think is absolute gold and it's something that I've just done as we've concluded the 2022 year and I've set myself up already for 2023 and it's only like the third day. Oh my gosh. So before I drop the secret sauce, my name is Jason Jenai. I'm a DJ, I'm a company owner, and I started a company called the SCE Event Group now over 10 years ago. We've done some amazing things in amazing places for amazing people all over the place, stuff that I'm super proud of. And if you're a DJ looking to up your game, I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to support me and this channel with some sub love down below. If you're new here, drop down below, hit the subscription button, support me and this channel, and I will be forever grateful. If you're a returning subscriber, viewer, or observer of my content, I'd like to say thank you. And make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in this video and in this music management library backup solution hack. So let's get into this process and let me share this secret sauce with you. Every time I work and I do a party, it doesn't matter if I'm doing a club or a private, a mobile, a wedding, whatever. Every time you do a incredible party where you think you either did really well or people really vibed with what you played, or maybe you experimented with something new or you played a genre of music that you don't really play often, I think those are incredibly important playlists to save. So what I do is I go into my history portion of Serato and I take all of the songs that I played during that event and I save it to a new sub crate in my Serato. Over time, I start to accumulate a number of really, really dope sets, parties, all of which are in their own sub crate and I start to stack them. And over the course of a year, I could have 20, 30, 40, 50, or even 60 really, really dope parties or events that I've been part of saved as individual sub crates in my Serato. I then take all of those sub crates and I condense them into a single crate in my Serato. This is an incredibly important folder to have, and this becomes my new master backup folder for the future. Once you have all of the songs in this singular crate or music folder in your music software, I then take all the tracks in that folder and I export it to a new folder on my desktop. Essentially, I'm making a duplicate of this folder and I'm putting it on my desktop. Title it however you wish, but this folder is gold. So now I have this new music folder on my desktop that needs to be scrubbed. I use the Crate Hackers Folder Flattener app to do this for me. By the way, if you're not using Crate Hackers, if you're familiar with it, I'm gonna share a video up here about some really cool tools that come with that software platform, as well as a VIP access to this platform in the description field underneath this video. If you are not yet a member, you haven't checked it out, I would highly suggest you considering joining this universe of DJ tools tools for DJs, created by DJs, really set out to help DJs not only go through playlists, but use some incredibly cool and very, very useful tools, just like this folder flattener that essentially will take all of those music files, scrub them all out, identify duplicates, and then save them in a folder on that desktop. Once I do that, I remove the duplicates from the folder and that becomes my master backup for the past year. That folder is incredibly powerful and it contains all of the music files from all of your super dope events that you actually DJed over the past year or whatever time period you are doing this in. So I'm not done. From there, I actually take that folder and I save it to a Google Drive, to my Dropbox, and I import all of the tracks that sit in that master folder into my iTunes music library so it can sync with my phone and even my iPad, giving me more backup options in the future. I also save that folder using Lexicon to an SD card that I keep with with me in my backpack every single place I go. 
on that SD card, I have all of the music files in my organized folder for backup, as well as I use the Lexicon platform to export the ability to use that music library in Serato, Rekordbox, and any other software platform that I could run into in the future. Now, this is golden because if you ever go out somewhere and you're ever asked to maybe play or save the day or whatever, you kind of have this root file music library that was a result of all of the events that you've done in a number of different software formats so that you are golden and you never know when this could come into play. Now, over time, year after year, I start to do this and I start to accumulate annual music backup folders for each and every year. I then take all of those folders, really like the basis for my music library and for my events. Now, I'd love to hear from you. So what do you think about the process? Put it in the comments. If you have any questions, throw it in the comments down below. I'm gonna throw a video up on the screen about the Create Hackers platform. Again, if you want to get information on joining Create Hackers or Lexicon, I'm going to throw it in the description field underneath this video. I appreciate you guys sticking with me to the very end. Let me know if you have any questions or need anything at all in the comments down below.